Well, we got one sideways on the front stretch. Gary Nadeau in the 01. Brian, Brian Newman caused that. Brian got, he and the, the 01 got together coming up off the four. Caution is out. That's too bad. Nobody gets a lap back from Jimmy Spencer. Now, Jerry Nadeau. Get up, ready, be ready, be ready, be ready. Jerry Nadeau was front oh, end, bad front end damage. Uh, as you see the 25 car, Jerry Nadeau just drives way down into turn one, gets in the back of Ward Burton, turns him sideways. There's Todd, Todd Bodine, has nowhere to go, and got some tore up race cars. And You know, Todd Bodine, the 66 car, and Ward Burton, he's a little angry. The guy's trying to restrain him. Let go of me, man. Look, I got to go over and talk to my man and say, why did you do that? The guys in front of him were bottlenecking, and we just had to slow down going in the corner. Jerry didn't, but that's that's the 11th time this year I've gotten the hell knocked out of me. It just gets frustrating after a while. Check this mess out. Well, how about four wide? And <laughs> take a look at Kyle Busch in the 51 <laughs> passing on the apron. Does he have the flat in the corner? What was he doing down there? Did you guys see him pass? Oh, he's doing not? it again. Oh, and he's going to get Colin Brown. He gets into Colin Brown. He slides on the apron. Let's see if Colin Brown can keep it on the apron and away from the racetrack he turns around no caution yet no caution flag let's see if he can get moving ray what's going on down there well, on. colin brown had come on the radio about halfway down the back stretch and said i got a flat right front tire flat tire guys i'm gonna pit so that's why he was slow and that's why rowdy was down on the inside there to make the contact i bet he never dreamed somebody would hit him from the left side though did, <laughs> did you think Watch him down there. He's got the 11 of David Starr right in front of him. They get seized up a little bit. He's just going to turn left, drive down in the flat of the racetrack, drive by that 11 truck of David Starr. He's not done yet. See the six of Colin Brown right there in front of him. Watch when we get down here to the next corner. Remember, Colin Brown thinks he has a flat tire. He's trying to get down to the apron. Kyle's down there below him. They make just slight bit of contact. It turns Colin around, and Kyle Busch continues on. NASCAR just came on the radio to Kyle Busch and said, all right, Kyle, you got to settle down now. Calm down a little bit, and please use the racetrack. <laughs> so here's what Kyle does. Well, I'll use the high side of the racetrack now then. That's, yeah. that's part of the racetrack, isn't it? They didn't like it when I went on the left side. Let's see how they like it when I take the right. We're going to pass to the right now. Let's go back to New Hampshire where Kevin Harvick had the lead. Biffle wanted to get back on the lead lap as they uh, raced around to caution. And after the race, uh, there were some harsh words between the two combatants for the championship. But moments ago, Harvick, as Daryl pointed out, reminded Biffle he's there on the restart. <laughs> this is what makes racing so much fun. You got to deal with these same guys week in and week out. Folks, we got a special for you. We got the car tomorrow, today. Come on in and get you one. We're dealing. Trust me. You ain't never seen a car like this. <laughs> Low mileage? How about no mileage? This baby hadn't run a mile yet. That's all going to change today. Little baby is fully loaded. <laughs> well, I take that back. She's not fully loaded. No AM, FM, no stereo, no uh, no air conditioning. And look at that. That gum door won't even open. <laughs> moon roof? Who needs a moon roof when you got roof flaps? Miles to the gallon? Hey, well, this baby is more like gallons to the mile. <laughs> Look at this baby, car with a wing. Hey, son, this ain't your granddad's car, I can tell you that. I don't know what that thing is, but I want one. Bad credit? No credit? Hey, no problem. My man right here, my finance manager, no hassle, Hammond, he'll take care of everything. You got to get you one of these. Pretty soon, this will be the only car NASCAR runs. What you gonna take get you in this car today, huh? Aw, oh, shucks, I can't get you one of these things anyway. The only place you can get one of these cars is right here, NASCAR on Fox.